We're talking with Doug Somerville from the Department of Primary Industries about collecting specimens to send to the lab in the bee industry. Well, Doug, what should you be thinking about if you think you have a disease or a problem in your hive and you want to get it checked out? You need to confirm what you've got. Um, the, a lot of diseases look similar, chalk brood, European, uh, sack brood and American fowl brood can have similar symptoms. So if you're not sure what it is uh, and you need confirmation, the best thing to do is to make a sample to send it into the lab. How do you go about collecting that sample? Two methods of, of collecting samples. You can either remove a chunk of brood comb, a diseased part of the comb, uh, wrap it up in newspaper, wrap it up in cardboard and, and mail it to the lab. That's uh, going to destroy the comb and be costly and time consuming to do. The preferred method is to actually make up a microscopic slide, a smear sample as we call them, and that's merely just getting three or four diseased larvae, put it on the glass slide, mix it up on the glass slide and remove the excess material, let it dry, uh, identify the glass slide as coming from you and the hive number, wrap it up in some cardboard and send it off to the lab. So you say glass slide, where do you get those from? Um, from a chemist, veterinary supplier, uh, any number of places on the internet these days. Um, now, with the actual larvae, how do you go about actually mashing them up or, or compacting them to, and then letting them dry out? When you see something that's off colour or discoloured in the cell as far as uh, a decaying larvae is concerned, you're, you're definitely sure it's not nice and white or pearly white indicating it's healthy. So once you notice that it's off colour, probably a brown or a dark brown, a light brown, dark brown colour, um, that's the sort of larvae you're looking for. And you remove three or four of those as much as you can get out of the cell and put on the glass slide. You only need a thin smear of, the, of that particular material on the glass slide. It doesn't have to be chunky bits, just a very, very thin smear. You only need, uh, uh, for every dead larvae, there's a number of billion spores, so there's, they don't need that many spores to actually determine what disease you've got in the lab. You just do the one slide? One slide for each hive, or if you're not sure, take a couple of slides from two the same hive, but usually with three or four larvae from the one hive, they'll give you enough information. It is possible to have more than one disease in the hive, so it's important to take three or four larvae, but you should only really need one slide per, la per hive, uh, if you're unsure. Where you're fairly certain that you have a particular disease, there's no need to take a sample. But if you're not sure, then take a uh, confirm what you've got before you go do anything radical like kill the colony. Now with that slide, once you've pressurised the, the larvae onto the slide, do you then put it out in the sun to dry or where do you dry uh, it? It doesn't matter, just let it air dry. Um, it's not attractive to bees, so if you let it air dry for a few minutes and then it um, as long as it's not raining, it should be as dry as you need it to be to place between a couple of pieces of cardboard or in a uh, slide carrier to send it off to the lab. So you need to fill out a lab report, put your, your contact details, your name, address, your phone number preferably, location of the beehives, how many beehives at risk and what are the, uh, what are the things that you identify, what do you think it is? Do you think it's European, American and the more information you put on that report to the lab the better make sure you date it and sign it when you're sending that request. Do you only put diseased larvae on the slides or do you try and get some from each of your hives just to see if it's spread? No, you, you want to diagnose, because you can have an apiary of um, several hives, up, or even a couple of hundred hives, so uh, if one hive's got the disease, another one next to it may not, so there's pointless putting larvae from several hives on the one slide that slide is applicable to that hive and that's you need to treat it as a separate animal. Each hive is a separate animal. 